Hi, my name is Kristen Jacobson, and I'm a professor of American literature, and I'm looking forward to working this fall semester. I'm sorry that um, we're not able to meet face to face. That would be ideal. That's um, usually my preferred teaching method, but I'm looking forward to learning with you um, virtually online. So I just want to give a little bit of an introduction to the course. Uh, I'll also be doing this uh, during our optional Zoom session. Um, which will be held every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so our first Zoom session will be Wednesday of this week and um, from 12.45 to 2 p.m. So if you happen to um, make that session and you want a little refresher of some of the things that we went over, you can watch this video. Or if you um, missed that session, then this is uh, hopefully a helpful tutorial for um, an introduction to the class. So uh, the vital information uh, about the class is in the syllabus as well as in our Blackboard course. And so we'll start with the syllabus. Um, it begins with some uh, key information here in terms of how to contact me. Um, also notice here, this is our active Zoom link and password, and you have to use your stockton.edu. It's limited um, to avoid um, Zoom bombing and some of the other problems that can sometimes happen. Uh, you need to uh, use this link and password and use your stockton.edu account um, that's associated with Zoom. If you have any problems with that, be sure to contact the IT help desk at Stockton and they can walk you through the steps. We have some required uh, course tools here and texts, our anthology, Blackboard, uh, Zoom, which is optional for the uh, synchronous, um, but it is helpful, uh, particularly if you want to uh, meet with me during uh, class or office hours. Uh, hypothesis, which I'll talk a little bit about, uh, and then Office uh, 365. In other words, you need Microsoft Word or be able to convert your document into a PDF because those are the two basic formats that you'll be using to submit your assignments electronically. I have some other recommended texts here that you might want to check out. In your own time, be sure to check out and read the course description and goals. Uh, I'm not going to take time to go over those, uh, as well as some of the other policies, except just to highlight uh, if you need uh, accommodations, be sure to contact me as early in the semester as possible. To make sure academic obviously don't cheat don't plagiarize if you have questions about what uh, comprises that uh, you can check the link that's provided here on the syllabus as well as um, visit with me about it I prefer that you chat with me through uh, our blackboard email and I'll show you where that is uh, in a little bit and then just some more information about um, Zoom. And if you have preferred pronouns, you'll notice that I include my preferred pronouns uh, right as a part of my Zoom name. And you could do that as well if you plan on joining us um, for the optional Zoom sessions. So some additional information here that I think will be helpful. Again, I'm not going to just read through the syllabus, um, but point out, you know, look over this, uh, you can take the syllabus quiz. And uh, after you've had a chance to look at more details at some of the course policies and suggestions. Uh, what I want to do here is just sort of highlight what a kind of normal week will look like in our course. And you'll be doing readings. Usually you'll have readings Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, before class, you'll have completed a reading quiz based on on that reading that unit activity. In other words, in each of our three units, which are five weeks long, if you, and here I'm just going to scroll down because I think it might be helpful to look at this as I talk about it. Uh, you know, unit activities are basically your class participation, whether it's synchronous or asynchronous. And every week you'll have at least three activities and every in every class period, you'll have at least one unit activity that you can choose from. Often there's multiple unit activities that you can choose from for any given class period. If you complete three unit activities, one per class period for a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, uh, you'll earn 20 points. So in other words, the unit activities, as long as you're fulfilling the timing, so if it should be a post to a message board that's 250 words, 
about um, to the prompt that's given. If you do that, you'll get the full, uh, and you do that for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, posted by the deadline, you'll get that 20 points for the week. If you do that uh, for two activities, let's say you miss Monday, but you submit Wednesday and Friday's activities, 17 points for the week. If you just end up doing one, you, um, make, you complete it for Monday's class, but you miss the rest of the week, you'll get 15 points for the week. And so basically you get an A, B, or C for that week. All of those numbers are crunched together. If let's say you miss a week, that means you get zero points for that week, but as long as you've completed other weeks and completed them well, you should still be able to pass the unit, the entire unit activity okay. So I talk a little bit about or give a couple examples here. So obviously, right, if you complete three unit activities by the posted deadlines during the entire five week unit, you get an A for that unit or 100 points. If, let's say, you get an A in week one, a B in weeks two, three, and four, and a C in weeks five, you can see here, I've done the math for you, you get an 86 out of 100 points. And so um, you can, uh, if, you know, if you are ill or you get behind in your work and you don't complete a week's activity, there, are, you know, you're not doomed uh, to fail a course, but it does ask you to keep on top of the material through, especially throughout these individual five week periods uh, for the three units to make sure that your class participation, that you're staying on top of things, whether you're joining us for synchronous, asynchronous, or a combination of both. So keep in mind that um, I will be available every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 12.45 to 2 p.m. to talk about the reading, to talk about the writing, to talk about the assignments, et cetera. And, uh, but those meetings are optional. Uh, so you are not required to do that, although you could uh, attend as part of your unit activities. So maybe we'll go into our Blackboard course you'll see that each of the course units is listed here. So we'll go into the first course unit, which will be the late 19th century. That's where we're going to start in our exploration of American literature, 1865 to the present. You'll notice here that uh, this is in here. I'm gonna turn off the edit mode. This will look a little bit closer. If I turn that off to what you will see. This is all the information for the first five weeks, our first unit in the class. And you'll see that each week has its own separate folder and then each class period within that week has a, uh, has a folder. So we'll go into week one. Apologies, my internet connection is a little bit slow. Um, when I'm recording. This is why I'm not recording our class, uh, optional Zoom classes, so we can have a discussion, um, but also so that um, we can, here I'll click on this, sorry, that'll, uh, we'll look at one of the specific course, uh, course days. So you'll notice here uh, that I list the required tasks for that given day for the unit activities. Now, because the first week is a short week, we don't, you know, classes don't start till Tuesday, so we don't have a Monday class this week. You can complete uh, for this week, zero to two activities for Wednesday's class and Friday's class. Now you don't need, to, you know, if you end up completing four activities because you do two on Wednesday and two on Friday, that's overkill. You don't get additional points for doing more than three activities. Um, but uh, you do get, um, you know, if you want to get an A for this week, then you want to make sure that you complete two activities on either Wednesday or Friday of this week and any other week where uh, we have a shorter week where we, um, uh, aren't in class, like the week of Thanksgiving, for example, where we have that Friday off. It will be another week where you can complete uh, on one of those days, two unit activities to be eligible for the A for that particular week. So you'll see here that this is listing the required tasks. You're to look over the syllabus and assignment descriptions today. 
watch uh, the first episode of Realism uh, uh, for the Lit Movements, which is a podcast or originally was a podcast and now I've uh, converted it to a YouTube video. And then um, I've asked you as part of, you have some these three options um, to, to complete. Um, and you can pick any two or one uh, discussion board po post where you introduce yourself, uh, where you reply, you can reply to someone's post, ask them additional questions, say, oh, hey, you know, uh, good to see you in class again. Maybe you've, uh, you recognize the student uh, or to take the syllabus quiz, okay? And then it's optional to join. today uh, Zoom meeting. So in this folder too, I've linked um, the various elements uh, that you'll need to do. So if you want to watch the Lit Movement episode, you can click on that and uh, get access to that. You can also go to Friday's class for this week and you'll notice that it is also set up similarly where you have this sort of opening page where it tells you for today, these are your required tasks. This is your assigned reading. This is the reading quiz that's due. And then these are the unit activities that you have to choose from. So again, you'll notice that while you only need to complete, uh, well, if you, if, if you only wanted to do one activity uh, for this week and earn a C for your unit activity grade this week, and, then, and you did that on Wednesday, then you don't need to do any unit activities for Friday. If you want to get a B for the week, then you need to pick at least one of these activities. Uh, obviously, if you already did the discussion board post on Wednesday, then you're gonna need to pick something else. You'll do the syllabus quiz or do something else uh, to earn your unit activity points uh, for the week. The unit activities, again, it's based on a weekly grade. You'll see that in your grade book. And then, um, you know, after each unit, it basically, you start all over again in terms of the grade that you're working towards for that particular unit. So if we go back to the assignments, your reading quizzes over the entire semester uh, will be an average of all, each quiz is worth 100 points and what your average for all of the reading quizzes uh, will be computed at the end of the semester and multiplied by two. So if you have an, a 98 average, you, or, uh, you just multiply that by two and that's the number out of 200 points uh, that, you'll be, that you'll be given. Each of those unit activities, right, each week, uh, you can earn a maximum of 20 points per week uh, so that at the end of five weeks, you uh, end up with 100 points for the five week unit. Then you take an exam, an essay exam, uh, that's worth 100 points or 10% of your final grade. And then we'll start unit two. And basically we start kind of all over again with uh, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you'll, usually, you'll have assigned reading for each of those days that you'll complete. You'll have a reading quiz that you'll need to complete for each of those classes, a reading quiz on Monday, a reading quiz on Wednesday, a reading quiz on, on Friday. And you'll also have unit activities anywhere from zero to three that you'll complete uh, or one per class period for each of those Monday, Wednesday, Friday class periods. At the end of the semester, there is a final project and I'll let you read that assignment description. I'm not gonna spend time talking about it today, but certainly uh, as the semester moves along, we can talk more about that. Uh, now, there are, instead of having necessarily penalties, either for um, uh, late penalties, I have a couple bonus opportunities, uh, which are if you submit all of the reading quizzes on time, there are 35 total, uh, then you'll earn a 5% bonus on your final reading quiz grade. So if your final reading quiz average was a 75, that would be raised to an 80 or 160 out of 200 points. Uh, we talked about the unit activities already in terms of how they're evaluated. 
the key here, uh, again, is just to make sure that you're fulfilling the uh, requirements. Uh, if, you, if you say, well, I posted something to the discussion board, but you posted a hundred word post and the requirement was 250 words. You don't get partial credit. Um, that's just not considered complete. You didn't do that unit activity. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you um, read the instructions for the, each of the unit activity possibilities and that you complete them according to those instructions to make sure you're eligible to earn those points. Uh, the exams, which will take place, so three exams after each unit, uh, those are open book, open note, essay exams. They are timed. Uh, I want to say you have four hours once you open the exam uh, to complete it. They're really designed to be taken in 45 minutes to an hour or so, uh, uh, but uh, I've given you four hours so that um, that gives you a little bit of flexibility uh, as you're working on uh, those essay exams. Here's some advice. And so in addition to the way in which, I'll just kind of go back here, how is that up, for each of these units uh, have our specific days associated with them. So if we go into the next week, And we look at the Monday of week two. We've got a required task for that day, unit activity possibilities, and just a reminder about joining our optional Zoom meeting if you wanna talk about uh, what's going on uh, in the reading or in the class or if you have questions about any of the assignments. So you can see all that information there, but you can also, if you like how more of a traditional syllabus looks, you can check out each of these days or when this is due. So by September 11th, by uh, Friday, you'll have read this reading, pages one through 37 of our anthology you'll have completed somewhere um, between zero to two uh, unit activities. And, okay. So this first unit is 1865 to 1910. We'll move into modernism uh, in our second unit, and which is also five weeks. And then the last five weeks will be the contemporary period, 1945 to I hope that this brief introduction to the course and some of the assignments has been helpful. Uh, I strongly encourage you to zoom into class whenever possible and I'd be happy to answer questions. So uh, I look, again, I look forward to working with you this semester. Have a great rest of your day.